Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So we have the Nine of Cups. That's a pretty good first card to have out. We have the Six of Swords, another pretty positive card. We have the Nine of Cups, okay. And we have the Hierophant. This looks pretty good. This looks like... You have a an offer of commitment coming in here. And this is something that you really wanted in regards to like a love offer or a commitment is coming in for you. Yeah, I feel like things are about to start improving for you. But let's see what clarify the nine of cups. See, why do we have the five of wands here? Maybe somebody's confused about what is going to make them happy here. Conflicted on what will make them happy. Hmm. Who about the six of swords? The king of swords. Okay, so this may not even be you. Yeah, this may not be for whoever. Let's see. So the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Wands, clarify the Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles. See somebody. Okay, so you may have. Mm, yeah, why do I feel like somebody has gained the clarity that they're ready to move on from something here? Somebody didn't know what was going to be their wish fulfillment, or wasn't sure which which person or situation or whatever it was job was going to bring them happiness and fulfillment but with the king of swords here somebody has gained clarity on that whether that's you or somebody else in your energy although i'm feeling like intuitively like it's somebody else but somebody is like gaining clarity on what is their wish that something is a wish fulfillment or something is some, that i don't know how to explain it exactly but I, somebody is coming towards another person with a romantic proposal here. And this and this is something that's been taking a really long time. For some of you, you have more than one person that's coming towards you with an offer. Talk about this Knight of Cups. The two of I'm telling you, somebody sees you as their happily ever after. They want a union with you. They want to have a family with you. And they're maybe going to propose like, hey, like, let's do this. Like, I want us to be a family. I want us to be together. I want us to be in union. Um, what about this Queen of Wands, though? The hanged man there's somebody's looking at you differently you have eight of wands like they i feel like all of their feelings for you hit them at once why or they have just had a sudden oh because you guys did you guys go what about the queen of swords the six of wands okay and the dark okay so you guys cut this person off you set boundaries with this person and you started focusing on yourself and i think that things you know you you had a lot of success that came from that focusing on yourself and cutting this person off and I feel like that actually sent this person into the dark night of the soul. They feel a void without you in their life. They feel a disconnect without you in their life. It's like they almost weren't going to be able to really come to terms with their feelings for you or really realize how they felt about you until you weren't there. So this is kind of giving me the energy of somebody that was taking you for granted or they just for some reason weren't, wasn't seeing or they, they, they weren't clear on how they were feeling about you. Why was that? Taming hunger. So... Mm. what about that yeah yeah they were resisting this connection because i feel like this is somebody you showed this person something about themselves that they weren't wanting to, wanting to face yeah eight of cups though what about the eight of cups the nine of swords so either you guys walked away because they were putting you in the nine of swords they were causing you a lot of stress and sleepless nights or since you walked away from them they've been losing sleep over you but yeah it's like since you walked away from this person it has become very clear to them that they love you and who you who you were to them and who you who the two of you could have been why couldn't they see this though when you were in their life why couldn't they see this when you were in their life ace of pentacles okay what about the ace of pentacles two of wands why were they so conflicted? Page of Pentacles. They felt like they didn't have a whole lot to offer you or they didn't feel ready to offer this to you. The Tower. What about the Tower? The Seven of Wands. This person wasn't expecting your boundaries. It's almost like this person thought you were going to keep expect, like, staying, like, letting them keep you in limbo and breadcrumbing you. Why did they think that? The Emperor? Because... <laughs> They maybe thought that they had made, had some type of control over you or they, it's like they thought that, they, yeah, they had a choice between two different paths. They were indecisive, but why did they think that my collective was going to just deal with this? The seven of swords. They thought they had done a good job of hiding from you that they were trying to make a decision between you and somebody else or that, that they were deceiving you in some way. They thought that they had 
they had done this that they that yeah this person thought that they had deceived you enough that you would wait on them yeah that you would put your and maybe you guys had already shown this person that you would you know kind of put your life on hold for them while they were i kind of feel like this person wanted to have both things that they, they wanted to continue to juggle yeah i think they, they wanted to continue to juggle or they were kind of procrastinating removing cutting some ties cutting some carbon ties um, I was drawn to on that Taming Hunger card, wherever that card went. I don't know where it's at. Oh, it's right here. See how this girl has, like, all these different hands on her? Like, this person was dealing with, like, a lot of people. Or they at least dealing with more than one person. They have, like, a need to have, like, to sleep with multiple people or date multiple people, get attention from multiple people. Like, they have, like, an insatiable thirst for attention. And to have, like, it's, like, one person up until this point has never been enough for this person or something like that they'd like to have more than one person even if it is just people giving them attention so tell me more four of pentacles what are what's, what's being held on to, to here that's yeah somebody wanted to hold on to you and somebody else why the page of cups what about the page of cups the star or maybe Why page of cups and the star the king of pentacles it's almost like this person was like very sure that you would they were very optimistic at some point that once they did like get into this very stable energy that you were going to take them back like they were very optimistic about you you accepting an apology from them yeah eight of wands what about the eight of wands can't cannot be trusted see they're going to maybe reach this person is thinking they can get you back They've been very optimistic. They have for some they have been very confident in thinking that they feel like they they've been very confident in how do I say this? Why can't I get my words out right now? They have felt and have felt very confident that you would take them back at some point. Like even if it wasn't right now, when they like they think that you'll take them back. But this problem this person doesn't realize that they've made a lot of false promises to you. This person, I feel like, also knows that, like, in the past, I'm not saying that this is currently still the situation, but you've had a soft spot for them. Yeah. Two of Wands. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. I feel like, yeah. What about Rips Apart? What about Two of Wands? The Seven of Wands. I'm telling you, this person, why were they, be, I don't understand. What was keeping them, why were they so indecisive? That's what I don't understand. Three of Swords. What about this three, this three, three of swords wishing that what? What's the dude my collective? Clean up. Okay. They were conflicted about literally cutting off a karmic. Like, I don't know, how, at least one karmic. It's at least one karmic that this person was conflicted about whether or not they wanted to cut this person off or not. But for some of you, there was some type of heartbreak or betrayal or something that occurred between them and that person. They do a lot of, um, what is that called? Is it ruminating? Like, they do a lot of, like, replaying of events that happen between them and this person. Things that happen. So, but whatever the other situation is, it's dark, too. It's toxic. So, again, why are they, what is keeping them there? Or keeping them from letting that situation go? Okay, they, okay, hold on here. Yeah, I know they have a card. They're codependent on that person, but why? What is, what is it that they're getting from that situation that they're not wanting to let go of? It's like some type of attention. See, for some of you, it is just like, what about six of wands? What about six of wands? I think I just saw the seven of swords again, the, the knight of wands. It's like this energy has been lingering in the collective energy. Well, at least in my readings, you're like at least a couple weeks now. Whereas this person who like, has like a karmic partner that they're codependent on, but this karmic partner of theirs, either they feel they're either cheating on this person or this, this person is okay with this person being with multiple different people. Like, they know that you're not going to go for that. They know that you're not going to be okay with them talking to 50 million different people, sleeping with more than one person. So that's why they, they, they're they staying in that situation because they feel like they can get away with more in that situation. They can continue to stay in their lustful player ways and keep getting attention, all that attention that they want um, while they're with that other person. There's something that they're getting. So maybe something is ending, though, and there's a new beginnings energy. What, how, why are they codependent on the other person? Why are they codependent on the third party, the four of swords? They're not emotionally invested in that person. Tell me about that. 
this, this person gives money to them. Yeah, this person gives money to them. Mm -hmm. Gives something to them. What about King of Cups? For they're not happy there though. They don't. They're they're lacking the emotional fulfillment's not there. But that person does give. Um, it's like they want to, but they're with another person. Are they still dealing with their uh, multiple third parties? What are they over there doing? Mm, Ten of Pentacles. What about the Ten of Pentacles. The chariot. No, they're thinking about something long-term and stable with you. Yeah, they want a new opportunity to build something long-term and stable with you. But why now? Is it because you walked away from them? Yeah, you went cold on them. I'm telling you, when you walked away from this person, you show, they started looking in the mirror. Yeah, and they started accepting like, okay, like I am messed up. Like I messed up and I have issues. And yeah, it was a wake-up call for this person. And um, they want another chance though. But what is undecided? Five of Cups, and what a catch. What does that have? Five of Cups, what is it? They regret being in this indecisive energy and like making somebody that was a catch be an option. They regret this. Yeah, trying to make a catch be in competition with karmic partners, with their addiction. Yeah, playing mind games, betrayal, and toxic love. That's what I'm telling you. There's something about them and this karmic partner where they cheat on each other, they betray each other like it's messy okay like it is messy but that's this person was their karma <sighs> or part of their karma what else does my collective need to know about this person or this situation i'm gonna get a few of these let's do four spirit cards four cards to kind of sum up more so and this is something that you we wanted with this person. I do see this energy of you guys possibly not knowing what you want to do with this, though. Like, if you want to take this person back. We have gesture. So you are going to hear from them. Yeah, they want another opportunity to prove to you that they, you, you know, that they can be something solid and stable for you. They can be faithful that, you know, they can be loyal. Um... Now, the two of you can build something long-term and stable. It says you can trust, you can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection, give them a chance to prove themselves. And I told you, it's because they feel you going cold on them. They feel you going queen of swords on their butts. I haven't been really naming off uh, zodiac signs here, but we do have Taurus energy. We do have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Scorpio. We have a lot. We have pretty much everything. Like We have a lot of different things here. Um... Yeah, that's the earth. We have a little bit of water too. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I pretty much see every sign here. This is a collective reading. They feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince you they're worth keeping. The unknown. They The unknown scares them. They see the ab abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. So you scared them, so they sabotage this. Yeah, divinely guided though. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs. The just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. See, what is unexpected? The answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you have moved on. For some of you, you have moved on. I told you, I don't know about if some of you guys are going to take this person back. Yeah, on a pedestal. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. Yeah, missing you. Their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. Yeah, part of them feels like they just debated on it this time, you know. And they, they sabotage this because, so you've been dealing with somebody that's going through the dark night of the soul. And through this dark night of the soul, them, it's like, this is somebody that used to need, they needed to have multiple people. Like, but it says, some, you've changed something, when they encountered you, something changed in them. That lifestyle no longer looked appealing to them. But I feel like they were still trying to work through releasing that, that version of themselves while you guys were trying to cultivate something with them. And that's why things happened the way that it did. But, and that's maybe why the, the, the separation needed to happen so they could really awaken and open their eyes. But yeah, the player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. They don't even want to be the right, that person anymore. Yeah, they're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. So they're doing a lot of thinking. They, they have been going through the dark night of the soul. Yeah, and it's because you guys, like I said, you set boundaries, you cut them off, you put this distance between the two of you. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. They think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because to them, you are too perfect to believe it's true. Yeah, they feel a huge void without you in their life. 
So the next time the, I see this person is coming towards them, what energy is this person coming towards them in? So right now they're just watching you. And you guys are obviously, there's telepathic communication going on between you and this person. They've been watching your social media to see what you post and get clues to how to approach you. So they're trying to figure out the right way to come towards you. But just know, guys, that this person is still emotionally unavailable. Yeah. Give me one more. What can they expect when this person does make the decision to see plotting? They're, they're strategizing right now. Yeah, I think they're a little bit, they're intimidated by you. Yeah, I feel like they feel like you have options they're trying to like better themselves to be able to come towards you to even be like to, to even be able to compete for you but like i feel like okay let's just see is there anything else that they need to know about this person because there's something that's there's something i feel it what do they need to know about the next time that this person when this person does work up the courage or whatever after they're done plotting and spying um strategizing what can, what do they need to know about this person coming toward them spirit what do they need to know about this person so we have confidence success enthusiasm optimism and fulfillment okay tell me more we have rocking horse, but see, indecision. What is this? I'm sick of this energy. It's like, have they just still not made up their mind to take action on this yet? Lack of consistency, indecision, on and off relationship. What? Or is this you that's going to be indecisive? What is this rocking horse energy? Yeah, narcissism, living in an illusion, superficial relationship. See, they still don't, they still haven't picked whether or not they want to. But is this future energy? Yeah, spiritual lessons. What about going forward, though? Going forward, how can they expect this person to come towards them? Yes, we know that they're going to return. What about that? Yeah, offer of love. Yeah, they're coming back with a traditional offer here after our rebirth process. Yeah. They were definitely trying to choose between you. So, first of all, you could have been dealing with a narcissist. Second of all, they were trying, they were indecisive between being with you or being in some type of superficial relationship with somebody that, see how this person, look at this guys, look at how this person in this card, I don't know if you can see it, you see how it's like, she's on, she's on her phone and she's getting all these likes and comments and reactions, this person was an attention whore, I'm telling you, like, they needed attention from multiple people and they learned a lesson in this, not what, what happened with that, they had to, that part of themselves had to die, yeah, karmic relationship, Karmic situations dead, not for you. What's this have to do with my twin flames? Use your head. Yeah, give it some thought. See, you guys are going to have to, now when you're dealing with this person, you're going to be more in your head. It's going to be more head over heart for you. When I feel like before it was more heart over head and that maybe got you in trouble with this person. So I think you're going to, for some of you, yeah, right right here, waiting expectations, yearning and longing, waiting period. This is my they will keep you waiting. Yeah, they're viewing they're viewing you as a perfect match at some point, but yeah, manifestation. Sleepless nights. See, all, what about sleepless nights? Collector of hearts. I'm telling you, this person puts you through it with this collector of hearts and sleepless nights. Yep, they put you through it, kept you waiting on them because they were skeptical about you. Or I kind of see that like this person bottled up. Yeah, they're they're kind of like in hermit mode right now. They're they're probably they're probably still going through the dark night of the soul. So they are gonna when they do come towards you, I feel like they're in the they're in the process of preparing for a new beginning in love with you. If you want it with them, you don't have to take them back. Yeah, somebody is coming towards you like with open hearted, but it's just not right now. Spirit says it's sooner than you think. Somebody is going, but what is this? The Grim Reaper. Clear it, cutting something and someone off. Yeah. For some of you, they had to go through a divorce. What does the Grim Reaper mean for my connect for the, for my collective? Lone Wolf. Okay, some of you guys are not gonna take this person back. You feel like you were, you're too different. Yeah, you're you're gonna be reluctant to put to to invest too much into this person. What about social circle on a pedestal? See, they want too much. Um, there's some people around them that. Mm -mm. There's some people around them that you feel like 
Yeah, it's something about like they still have some people around them that you're like, nah, I don't want anything to do with you while you're still associating with those people. And uh, you just feel like it's just going to still be a bad situation. But what is this? Roll the dice and what? Or maybe they feel there's people around them. Yeah, nothing good will come of it. Not, not worth waiting for. What about on a pedestal and social, social circle? Is this this person? Maybe there's... Mm, they feel like they're out of your league or something like that, but... The Traveler. What about social circle? They were... They were... They had like a circle of people. I'm telling you that they had these casual interactions with. That they were just wait. It's a, they're realizing that that was a waste of a time. Waste of time. They should have taken a risk on you. Because remember, we saw that card that says they view you as an unknown. <sighs> okay, give me a few more. So, any, what, wrap up this reading spirit. What does they? What do they need to know? So you have a secret admirer, but they're yeah, they're afraid that you're going to reject them right now. They know that they can't replace you. They have been out there dating and you know exploring options and deal with the karmic and all that shit but they feel like after going through all that they've been through since the separation they feel like nobody compares to you they feel the most comfortable with you you give them a sense of security and stability or something like that but what about guarded battle wounds you, you did make them feel safe the only reason they were guarded and closed off to you is because of some type of past situations they hadn't healed from but they're realizing something they're going to realize something and this is divinely orchestrated that and it's like whatever this realization is they're going to come towards you with the willingness to, to be vulnerable this is definitely somebody that tried to act like they didn't care they didn't give you the recognition that you deserved um they actually had a lot more feelings and emotions for you than they let on and i think that, that it kind of overwhelmed them but i do feel like they are wanting to come back and fight for you here but there's some there's something it's like they're coming back to fight for you, but with this moon energy and this circus in town, they need to cl clear out their circle of people. Like there's, it's like they may be coming towards you with good intentions, but there is some people that they are not wanting. And I don't know if it's even romantic partners. It's not even people that they're sleeping with. It's people in their social circles. So it's like, it could be family. It could be friends. But there's people around them that as long as they have those people in their life or they, as long as they don't have boundaries put in place with those people... I still see there continuing to be issues between you and this person. So I feel like you guys are going to be like, no, as long as you have that person in your life, like I, we can't work. As long as you're, you have that type of relationship with those people with this, we can't work out. So I do see that even though they do see you as the one, they, they're going to end up having to make some type of choice or still there is a decision that needs to be made, or they're going to have to even end up choosing between, you know, their friends and you and possibly even their family and you or something like that because they have very toxic people around them sometimes you got to cut your own family off guys and people that's hard for some people to come to terms with obviously this person is having a hard time coming to terms with that what is it with their family before i move on what is it up with their family and friends okay what is this yeah something is coming to an end here what is the problem with their family and friends they're toxic huh what about the empress the battlefield see they're fighting over you they're fighting over somebody needs to take their power back it's almost like they're gonna have people around them with this nine of cups and this five of wands they're gonna be people around them that aren't happy it's like the two of you could come together and have something really amazing right nine of cups wish fulfillment but there's gonna be some people that aren't happy for them or gonna try to fight with them about this Time is running out, okay? I, I'm telling you, outside influences, listening to other people's opinions, others affecting the outcome, external factors. In what way? Yep, betrayal, unfaithful, love triangle, betrayal of trust. Yeah. Yeah, yes, they are your twin flame. Yes, we know that. Yeah, living in an illusion. See, there could be family members. They're needing to really... There could be family members that help this person out financially or so, or they have a narcissist around them. There's there's people around them, guys, like outside influences that are getting in their ear. What about Strangely Lonely? The Grim Reaper. Something is coming to an end. 
Yep, the social circle. Somebody's cutting off their social circle. Yep, taking a risk and literally walking away from their social circle. Because the signs are, uh, are you know, guiding them to do this. Yeah, it's their family with this ancient history card. Or it's somebody that they have like a long history with, like a, a childhood friend. Or But it's more so giving me like family. Yeah, it's giving me family here. Yeah. Yeah, that they were very loyal to, but what about that? Or they, they know that they need to give their loyalty to you, and but they need to stop clinging to these unhealthy relationships. But they see that, it, they couldn't see that it was unhealthy at the time. They couldn't. See, I was going to say this earlier. Um, they're going to have to make a decision here, a sacrifice, yeah, to give up something. They're going to have to give up their family, a, a toxic family member or family or a toxic friend to be able to get in alignment with you to get their priorities together but this is what the divine is to get into alignment they're gonna have to let these people go at least for a time being for the two of you to be able to build the relationship that's how toxic their family or friends are that they've been keeping your person from being able to build a solid foundation with you like there's i don't know exactly what these family members have been doing but they have been a big part of the reason why or these friends but they have been a big part of the reason why your person things have not worked out or been able to move forward. Okay, so word. Okay, so word.